Good morning. Thank you for joining me for today's Facebook Live. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, in Australia, and this is my regular Sunday Facebook Live. I don't know if you're all organised or better organised than I am, but I'm still busy working on Christmas cards. I send out heaps and heaps of Christmas cards and I don't have enough yet, so I'm going to be frantically pushing out Christmas cards this this month so that I've got enough to post out come the end of the month and hopefully they'll arrive where they're supposed to be going by Christmas. So today's card is another Christmas card but it's also a fun fold and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. It's really cute so let's show you the card. Switch on the light because that always makes things better and my hair out the way right so this pops up so you know it will stand which doesn't look very good from the camera angle so like that and then it folds flat to go into an envelope so easy postage on that one and you've got a writing panel on the back to write yourself a nice message all right so this is one of those ones that maybe looks a bit complicated but it isn't the products that I'm using today, it's not like you haven't seen these before, but Reindeer Fun Stamp Set and Dyes. And I'm using the Sentimental Christmas DSP. I can quickly flip through it. You can see that it's getting used some pieces quicker than others. Um, I've actually used this one. So, see that bit over there that was the bottom that I cut off there it has the candles on the back of it and then you've got the stockings which is these two are actually if you do scrapbooking you can use them for scrapbook pages but I quite like those decorative edges and I don't do scrapbooking so they need the same colors but that's going to be unusual for me but anyway let's go so we're going to score at 2.2 centimeters, 5.2 centimeters, 9.2 centimeters, 9 and 12.2 centimeters. So quite easy scoring, although I don't know what's going on here. I've got a piece of paper that shouldn't be there that's causing problems. If you're working in inches, that's going to be one two three and a half and four and a half inches and before i put my scoring board away i've got this piece which is going to be that bit that goes on the top and that we're scoring at 10 centimeters and 13 centimeters and if you're in inches three and three quarter and four and three quarter inches Okay, so that's it. We're done scoring. Now we can just fold and all my folds are going in the same direction. I wasn't feeling that last one. I was thinking what's going on. There definitely should be another fold here. And the same with this one. Okay, all the folds in the same direction. Okay, now we're going to stick some DSP. And for this bottom piece, I like the piece of DSP. I think that it just makes it look nice. But if you don't want to waste your DSP or feel like you're wasting your DSP because it's stuck over. I haven't tried it yet with this card, but my thought is that you could actually just emboss a piece of cardstock and and put the embossed cardstock behind that. That would also look nice. But what are you hoarding that DSP for? Come on, get out, use it, because you know that there's more coming that you're going to want to buy. So now folding that down okay so my pieces of dsp now are going on what's the back of the card so I either flip it over or fold it down it doesn't matter 
And just by pure coincidence, this time I'm using the back of the same piece of DSP. But again, you're not stuck with that. You could pick any other piece of DSP in the pack that you wanted to have on your pillows over here. And sorry, I know you're watching me stick heaps of paper again, but sometimes I do um, stick them in advance if I can, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So just bear with me and watch me sticking bits of paper. There's not that many. All right, so just when you cut this paper, be aware that your middle piece is wider than the two side ones. So just make sure that you stick that correctly. And now we're going to stick this down. So I'm putting glue along that edge that doesn't have the DSP on. That's your smallest piece, so none of the DSP will fit on that. And now we're going to fold that. On that sort of second score line and stick it flat okay so if you wanted to use tear and tape here you can use the tear and tape but I just like using my Tombow glue give that a couple of minutes to set oh maybe I stuck too well all right and then that's gonna pop up to form that little box over there now we're going with our other piece and here's a word of warning don't ask me why I'm telling you this but if your paper is directional so this one isn't as obvious but it's got the trees here make sure that when you're sticking it it's right way up that your biggest one it, your big piece is on the left okay I may have not been thinking and stuck it the other way around and then went, okay, I've just messed this up completely because that one had more obvious trees on it and I now had upside down trees, so they had to come off and get fixed. All right, so. There we go. And our little piece on the side. So now when we're sticking this piece down, I'm putting glue along that little flap and I'm putting glue here. But just remember you don't want, I mean, you, you can put a fairly decent amount of glue because it's sticking against that pillar, but don't go too far over because you don't want to stick the card flat. It, want, it needs to be able to move. Fold those two pieces over. Fold that down flat like it's going into your envelope. And then we're just going to put this on. And it's not terribly important where you position it. You're just trying to get it somewhat in the middle with those two sides roughly equal. Okay, and let's just give that glue a moment to set. And... Okay, that didn't give that long enough to hold. All right, I'm going to put this aside for the moment because it needs, we're going to work on, on our reindeers anyway. So I'm just going to put that aside, put something on top of it so that glue can grab. Okay, then our reindeers. Oh my goodness. No, okay, I thought I'd lost a reindeer, but I haven't. So I've stamped my reindeers and die cut them i've colored one in that was the one that i thought had decided to run away from me but no it hasn't now i just want to show you to stamp the harness and i may or may not get it right <laughs> okay sean is in south korea now she's been great with what with tuning in while she's on the bus i think it gives her something to do i don't know maybe the scenery isn't that great now i was stamping with a group of girls a couple of weeks ago and we were doing heaps of reindeers and one of they were going how do you get this harness lined up and i just kind of went stamp 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 and someone turned around and said to me 
how do you do that when you can't see and I can't get it right with seeing so I'm going to try and show you what I do here but always nervous that as soon as I'm on camera it's going to go wrong but let's just see if I can do this and get it stamped straight so see you've got sort of the bottom of the deer's stomach over there and then the bottom of the harness here so I try and line those two up and then that's going around its neck so if I'm kind of lined up top and bottom then there we go all right so I knew that that wasn't going to work because I couldn't get my head over it so that stamped a bit too low but you can see if I'd lined it up properly it would have worked and because I was worried that I was going to do that and get it wrong I actually have one where I stamp the harness in place all right so coloring in my dears this one I'm doing in gray granite that one was in copper clay if you want them the same colors you can do the same colors again very simple coloring it's just where we've got these like dotty bits in the stamp I'm just going over those with the dark and then Colouring the rest of my reindeer in with the light. And I'm not too fussed when it comes to colouring in animals. I don't mind if there's a bit of white in between the colouring because I just think that it makes it look like the fur is a bit ruffled and... Um, you know, animals are out in the sunshine, so there's light and shadow, and so I'm not too fussed about getting it coloured absolutely 100%. But what I will be fussed about, which I've just noticed, is that that little bit actually needs to come out. Right, we do want that, and then I'm using and sorry, these ones always confuse me it's the light light stamping up this has a number on it SU 900 but I think like in the catalog they have the, the different name so it's the light light in the sort of the skin tones I think they call okay so as easy as that there's our reindeers colored in and then pull my card back in which oops, should be stuck now yep there we go it's all nicely stuck so you can have them whichever way you want um, and then if I want to let's, let's have the colors going the other way on this card why not so I'm sticking whichever one I'm having at the back down flat He's jumping over there and then I'm going to put this one onto dimensionals. Which is going to go on top. Oh. Okay, now she's got captioning turned on so I hope that what I'm saying and what she's reading is roughly the same and it's making sense. And then I've stamped my sentiment because we know that I'm not going to stamp that straight. So just my usual cutting the edges at a diagonal. Oops. And that's going up onto dimensionals as well. And I think that for this one I'm going to use the mini dimensionals. Oh, sorry I forgot to comment it's I don't know what I did last night I sort of got my finger hooked into something and it ripped the whole nail off so that's why that one looks completely terrible and I was gonna see if I could put some polish on this morning but I didn't so I guess I will be going off to the nail salon tomorrow so next week hopefully my nails will be looking beautiful and not not like I'm a bit of a scruff all right so there we go 
sentiment. And then I just need to pull in another piece of um, scrap paper and we're just going to stamp some trees along the back of the writing panel. Now you can stamp as many or as few trees as you like. I kind of just go one and then the second one. Now I do realise that it looks like my Lost Lagoon ink pad needs to be re-inked. I will get to that. But so these sort of stamped off trees are quite light, but I'm okay with that. Right, so we now have some trees along the bottom. And we'll just stick the writing panel on. I'll stick it on the right one. Gotta remember that's I think that's probably why there's a good reason why I do things with different colours because then I know which one I'm working on. But I really like this one in these colours, so we got two of them. Alright, so there we go. And as easy as that, we now have our two trees. Our two trees, our two cards with our reindeers having a happy time and ready to spread some joy to somebody so there we go i hope you've liked this card if you make it and you use different dsp different creatures on it please post them to my page i always love to see what you've done enjoy the rest of your day we've actually got summer in melbourne for today it's going up to 25 you may have noticed i was wearing short sleeves so doesn't mean that it's going to stay warm, but we have one day of summer. So if you're in Melbourne, enjoy the warm weather. And I will see you again next week. Until then, have a good week. Bye.